as you can already see from the title of the video this is the new daily yes sir it's an amg cla 45 amg sorry for the car being a little dirty it just rained as you can see from my floor you guys are probably asking why i chose this and not like the six seals that they have or the v8s i'll let you guys know right now so the whole point of this one it's it's gonna be my daily i'm thinking about maybe getting another car i really want to get back into the b58 platform which i was barely starting when that happened to my other car if you guys haven't seen in the video i told my m240 it's either gonna be another b58 or i'm thinking about probably going back to the evo scene but yeah anyways let's get to the whole point of the video i'm gonna show you guys a little walk around of the new car so you guys can see how it sounds how it looks inside and outside wise i'm gonna start off with the basics we got these 19 amg wheels with the big bramble brakes and those upgraded rotors which they come automatically with these amgs then right here in the back we got this little glossy diffuser different from the regular c250s that they don't have any diffuser and in the front we got that color match lip and then we have this part as well i forgot what that's called i like how there's literally no chrome trimming besides the door handles and the emblems in the back but that's pretty much it for the outside i'm gonna show you guys how it sounds when you start it up So yeah, that's how it sounds. The car actually sounds pretty good for being a four cylinder. From what I know, it's on the stock exhaust, stock mid pipes, literally has all the cats, resonators, whatever you can think of. And yeah, that's it for the outside. All right guys, so I'm gonna be taking you guys on a drive real quick so you guys can see how the car sounds, how it shifts. I'm gonna switch it to wide angle. All right, I have the camera in wide angle now. I feel like it looks better like the point of view that you have in a way you can see the steering wheel the stereo everything i'm thinking of maybe letting the car shift by itself and then i'll use the pedal shifts after so this is a little baby pool we're in fourth i'm floor, floor it all the way down right there with the car shifting by itself I'm about to go back on and this time I'm gonna use the paddles instead of letting the car shift by itself sorry for like stuttering and stuff I'm not really used to talking on the camera the second gear stops like a champ those brambles putting in work we also have options to like turn off the traction control off and it'll go like sport handling mode meaning like when you're like doing turns you want to like have the suspension adjust to it that's what you do you press that one and then you can actually have your traction control fully off by holding it and there you go but yeah second gear It's funny because right now when I shift like really low and go like kind of slow, the car literally sounds supercharged. It whines. Oh, you could kind of hear it right here. It's funny. Literally the car whines. I don't know if it's like a Benz thing that these cars sound like that, but it's funny. Like when you take off from first gear to like third, it sounds like it's supercharged. All right, we're in the interior part. I'm gonna step out the car so you guys can see how it looks. Look at those Recaros. 
you guys don't understand how hard it was to find the specific spec with Ricaro's with the red stitching on it. We obviously have aluminum paddles, as you can see right here. Most of the other ones don't even come with aluminum paddles. They give you like the little basic plastic ones. The best part about these Ricaro seats is that you could adjust them. This can fold in and this also folds in. Uh, you guys can't really see, but you can hear them moving. So this is how the back looks. We got the red seat belts. Point of view in a way from the back seat. <laughs> Got the red air vents. This goes down, everything. I don't know if you guys care about all that stuff, but it's pretty cool, it's kind of spacious as well. This how it fit sitting behind myself. Got the AMG logo right there. I know you guys probably want to see the screen. You got AMG right there. So mine comes with navigation. You could get like you know Bluetooth. Also, one thing I really like how it shows the car. It doesn't give you the basic C250 model. It gives you exactly how your car looks at the front lip with the wheels and everything. Looks pretty sick for your vehicle settings. One thing I noticed when I bought the car, well, after that, the car didn't have a sunroof, which I don't mind, but preferably I would have wanted one with a sunroof. So now I'm gonna show you what's under the hood of this car. So this is how the engine bay looks for my specific AMG model. I have the 2.0, it's a four cylinder, obviously. Keep in mind, I only got this car for a daily. I'm not gonna be doing anything to it. We have the turbo right there. If I wanted to, it's literally extremely easy to swap out the turbo. It's right here. And then we got the downpipe that's right there. We have the intake and then we have the ECU that you can swap these out for like a tuned version of it. I've seen a lot of those up for sale by Waste Tech or like other shops. I really like how they decided to give you a carbon fiber engine cover. It's not carbon carbon fiber, but it's like the dry carbon fiber. And then we got right there, handcrafted. I just got finesse. I literally placed the engine cover on the floor and this thing literally popped off right out of it. Anyways, back to where we were at. And then we have the in a cooler that's located right here on this side it looks like it'll be pretty hard to reach because we'll have to remove the intake the ecu uh, to be able to get all the way down here that thing literally won't stay but yeah now that i kind of think about it i kind of want to do something to it to me it feels like it's personally too quiet i feel like maybe an exhaust and an intake just to, so I could get like a little noise coming out from the car. I feel like it literally sounds super quiet from the inside. But yeah, let me know what you guys think, if I should do something to it, like any little thing, maybe like a downpipe, turbo intake, intercooler, maybe a ECU upgrade, which is like their tunes that they have for these cars available. I'm not sure what I wanna do, but yeah, just let me know what you guys think.